Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. We are back with more Sam and Max, as if that's a surprise to anybody, because we haven't finished the story yet. Yes, I want to start a new game. No, I don't need the tutorial. That would probably just be boring. There might be one or two cute lines, but the rest of it's just the basics. And if you need a game like this explained to you, maybe you shouldn't be playing games. Okay, that's a bit harsh. Okay, Bosco's. Bosco's very empty Boscatorium. That is a max sized hole. There we go. Okay, we're in, boys. Bosco! Free anti mind control helmets for the first 50 lunatics to come out of hiding! I've been telling you, little pals, he's just plain vanished. We'd better look around the joint for clues. Good plan, Samo. Guess that's why they call you guys in for the brainy stuff, and leave the senseless violence to the likes of me. I deeply resent that comment, Mr. Paper. <laughs> yeah, friend. We're gonna have to join together and use every detective skill we know to find Bosco. Open fire. Well, well that's a no we tried everything. Any more ideas? Hmm, let me think. Uh-oh, this could take a while. Bosco didn't take any pictures of himself. His camera no doubt thanks him. As informative as Max Impeachment Weekly is, I doubt it'll tell us where Bosco is. I've always wondered what Bosco keeps hidden back here. I've always wondered if he's wearing pants back there. Ooh, tiny moai head. It's Bosco's My First Moai Head toy. This is funny. Wow, it's everything we needed to solve last year's hypnotism conspiracy. Whew, I'd kill for a time machine right about now. Of course, I'd kill for just about anything. Yes, yes you would, Max. Don't vote for me and all the stuff we needed. Mm-hmm. No Bosco's in here. Bosco? No, nope, different weenie. We already checked the roof. Just a pigeon AA meeting. Nothing worth mentioning. X-ray machine. Let's see what's inside this head. All right. Let's have a look at your X-ray, Mr. Moai Head. We'll see what's causing that persistent tinnitus. Prognosis, Sam? Either this toy has a tumor the size of an overfed cat, or it's too dark to read it. Oh, okay. Panang. Our lust for this tangy fruit drink started this whole mess. No, it didn't. You only picked it up because it was needed for a quest item. Why, why are you lying? Hmm, it looks like... Say it? It looks like Bosco's as clever as you are at cutting-edge intellectual humor. <laughs> you gotta admit, that is pretty funny. Boobs. It's the x-ray I took of Bosco's Moai head. A piece of paper inside says 531-8008. Cyboobs? I, I, I don't know what it says, actually. Boobies. You get oh, okay. it, Sammo. Let's check in the bathroom for more clues. Those are words I'd never want to hear again. Out of you, Max, or anyone on the face of the planet. All right. I don't think you want to know the clues that'll be found in there. All right, they just went in together. Awkwardly long pause. Let's see if there's okay. anything in the bathroom to tell us where Bosco's top secret bunker is, dude. Or maybe the bathroom is his top secret bunker. This is exactly where I'd want to spend an apocalypse. I sense that something terrible happened here. Ho ho! You don't know the half of it. Bosco has all his shirts specially treated to block out the thought control rays. Lest nefarious forces take control of his nipples. The Bosco Tech Drain Liberator 6000. I'm not going anywhere near that thing. Not after seeing what it did to that sludgy delivery guy. The sound alone still haunts my nightmares. It's just a plunger hooked up to a corkscrew device and an engine. Bosco's been ordering nothing Older. but baking soda and paper mache. 
Interesting. Hot toilet wine. Everything Bosco would need to survive for months. Toilet wine. From the looks of it, these wine bottles haven't been touched in decades. Urnerolol. Urinals. Such a crude and barbaric means of bladder relief. Says the guy who uses the fire hydrant. Look at all the f disguises. These are all so familiar. British guy, French guy, Russian guy, his mom, and another lady wig. Bosco's disguises, each more offensively ludicrous than the last. No, disguising yourself Bosco's as your mom. Bosco's high tech, one hundred percent convincing disguise kit. Accurate. So, which kit was he using last year then? <laughs> okay, I'm overdoing on the laughing, but hey, it's an industrial-sized barrel of baking soda. Rampaging Roy Neary with a meat and two sides. Recognize that from Easter Island, Max? It's a model volcano. I'd say it's downright exemplary. There's no way I'm touching that towel. Not after all the people who've been using it. But Bosco and I are the only ones who ever come back here. Exactly. There we go. Scrolled message. Not big enough. Bigger. Ugh, sheesh. Even bathrooms aren't safe from natural male enhancement spam. Baking soda plus vinegar equals eruption. Sounds hot, but they didn't leave a phone number. If you explode it, they will come. And if it's brown, flush it down. Bosco keeps plenty of baking soda on hand to keep the bathroom fresh. Nah, I have some already. All right. I got baking soda. I just need vinegar. Sorry, I went Muriel for a second there. Tons vinegar. of model volcanoes just like the one on Easter Island. It's like Bosco was obsessed with this shape. Like I'm obsessed with the shape of Bosco's unnaturally bulbous forearms? A little like that, but slightly less creepy. He's not Popeye. Whee! I would clean up in here, but I don't want to disturb any evidence. What? I would clean up in here, but I don't want to disturb any evidence. Yeah, that's your excuse. Ooh, cotton balls. A jumbo-sized bag of cotton balls. D don't open it, Sam! I can never eat just one. Ugh. Just the thought of eating cotton balls makes my mouth feel funny. Ugh. Ugh, no thank you. Alright, I got baking soda. I put it in a volcano. I got more baking soda. <laughs> All right, gotta make sure I leave some room for Whee! vinegar, I guess. Where is the vinegar? Hey, I know. Stinky cook stuff. Whee! She might have vinegar. So how come the guy who was so keen on finding Bosco didn't come back with us? There he is. How's it going, Flint? Quiet out here, Sam. Any sign of Bosco yet? Not yet. Do you know anything about volcanoes, Flint? Caused by mantle plumes, Sam. Rock deep within the earth starts moving up because it's hot. Hotter than a Brazilian acrobat in a Catholic schoolgirl uniform playing bass guitar and quoting I from. meant the ones Bosco was making. Oh, no clue, pals. All right. Why were you keeping an eye on Bosco? A going away present for my old partner. God rest that bastard. First case he ever had, 40 years ago, and never solved. Some doll who wanted to keep an eye on this Bosco mook. Said he'd done her wrong, and he had to take the fall. Hmm. Any leads on where Bosco went? He kept yapping on about T-H-E-M in his secret bunker. The poor delusional sap. What's the word on the street on Bosco's disappearance? I've been making chin music with every pigeon in this bird, but nobody's singing. Trails dried up like a hobo's inner thigh. Ugh. Quickly, the lingo goes from colorful to gut churning. That's blah. Don't worry, Flint. We've got the skills to find whoever kidnapped Bosco. I am still president, after all. That may be, but are you a bad enough president to rescue the dude? Stick around, Flint. You boys know where to find me. 
Alright, he's standing in front of the door. Which implies to my gaming experience to mean that we're never going to get in. Get out until we figured out... Hey, wait a minute, wine! Hmm, a nice aged bottle of Nippy Valley... Woof! Nippy Valley Woof! For putty time or any time. Some idiot left the cork out, Max. It turned to vinegar. Okay, that was it. I realized that wine goes to vinegar. I learned that reading antique Superman comics. Whee! It's like I'm always telling you, Sam. We need a much bigger explosion. This time, you might be right, Max. Well, yeah, bigger explosion, huh? I think I can handle that. What was that for, Sam? That barrel was looking at me funny. Ram and hammer? Wait, ram and what now? Ram and hamper. Okay. And the school board said our cases had no educational merit. Do it again! Do it again! What's that noise? We signaled aliens. Woo! They've come for us, Max. It's T H E M. Good. About time we found out who's responsible for this travesty. Yeah, no kidding. All right. Oh, right. Opening sequence. Sam and Max running. I don't have anything to shoot this time. They've actually made their credit sequence less engaging. Oh, wait, here we go. At least I could... Maybe? Yes? No? Okay, here we go. Thank goodness. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. The damn. Bam, bam. Okay. At least I was... That wasn't that engaging, but it was very short. Thank you, Steve Purcell. All right, so what do I do? Aliens. Are they going to probe us? Is that Bosco as an hey guy. alien? Hey, guys. Oh, cow. <laughs> Look, I can explain. Did you get a haircut, Bosco? There's something different. That looks Finally horrifying. Finally see a doctor about that uh, personal problem? You guys done? Jesus yeah, Christ, that's how horrifying. All we got. Good. Now shut up and help me! What seems to be the problem, Bessie? That, that elevator over there, it's horrible. I went inside looking for T-H-E-M, but when I got out, I saw my mother. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. It gets worse. I ran out of there fast as I could, and when I came out, I was like this. You gotta fix it, guys. Well, we don't actually have to. What's with all the volcanoes back in your store? Guys, guys, try to keep up. Haven't you figured anything out yet? The volcano is what summons the spaceship, fools! Sam, <coughs> is it my imagination, or are we being scolded by the guy who's half cow? We're like nine-tenths cow. What are you doing on an alien spaceship? I got tired of being scared of T-H-E-M. I finally said, bring them on! I built this device that let me predict where they were going to show up next. Then I let them come on and take me. So, did you get udders, or are you a boy cow? He clearly has That's udders. none of our business, Max. What happened next, Bosco? I used the device on myself, you know, to test it. After that, it's all a blur. Where's this THEM detector device you were talking about? I don't know. I must have lost it in that elevator after I got turned into this, 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 this thing. Crappiest Minotaur ever. What is this place, Bosco? You guys still don't get it? This is it! The center of the entire operation of T-H-E-M! Kinda sparse for the headquarters of a sinister cabal bent on world domination. You don't need much room when you can go anywhere you want through time and space. Well said. The place seems pretty empty. Where are T-H-E-Y hanging out? I don't know, but you can bet they're around here somewhere. Just wait to probe us and turn us all into freakish animal human hybrids. Bosco, Sam is standing right here. Don't 
Don't go anywhere, Boshko. Now, where am I gonna go looking like this? Help me get Rodeo. back to normal, guys. Normal? McDonald's? <laughs> we'll get you back the way you were before, but uh, we're not promising more than that. You'd be safe at McDonald's. There's no beef there. Moo! What well, did you very, say? Very, very little. Hey, Max, what do you think this thing is? Calibrating. Complete. I now have mastered your primitive but no less valid language. Please choose from the following topics of conversation. All right. Um. Where's the crew? They are currently occupied with the craft's primary mission. They will arrive shortly to detain you for your own safety. Bite me. What happened to Bosco? The intruder made unsanctioned use of the time shuttle. How do we use that elevator? Simply choose a destination. Additional destinations can be opened using convenient pre-printed time cards. Fetch quest. Who are you? I am this craft's artificial intelligence. I supervise the operations of this craft and the activities of its crew. What are my options? My personality can be configured to respond in the style most appropriate to the user. Please choose from the following options. Let's go with abusive. The politically correct one is going to get annoying real abusive. fast. Good choice, moron. Did you come up with that yourself, or did your idiot friend help out? <laughs> We'd like to get a time card, please. I cannot print a time card until the captain chooses a destination. I wasn't that rude. So long. Get lost, failure. Jeez. Oh well, we did ask. For, I did ask for it. Literally, I, alien device. Hmm. There appears to be an 18% loss of efficiency in the starboard tachyon pulse perambulator. It'd take me four days to fix. You have 30 seconds. I think Sam's just been watching too much Star Trek. Ooh, Captain's chair. Captain's log. It appears to be made of the finest leather from only the finest in mutilated cattle. Don't joke about that. Yeah, well, whatever. Looks like some kind of weird alien radio. I'm on an alien. Whoa. It's the radio. elevator's emergency recall button. The spaceship's artificial intelligence unit is stuck on the elevator. But if it's portable, doesn't, mean I can't doesn't that mean I can take it? We're already there. Bosco's time card. It's, a, it's the only choice. Where will this take us? Back to Bosco's? Yep. Ding. But when? Bosco's again? How'd we end up back here? Judging from the lack of safety railings and ready availability of guns and ammo, I'd say we've gone back in time. Seems to be some time in the early sweet mother of mole sauce. You fools gonna buy something, or do you want to make a baby? Well, uh... um. I really, 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 really hope that isn't Bosco in a really good disguise asking me that. You must be Mrs. Bosco. That's Ms. Bosco. I don't want any part of your oppressive patriarchy. Fair okay, enough, I'm done talking to you. Yes, you. Who are you? Sam and Max, freelance police. Finally, the police. Maybe you can help me catch that fool. <laughs> yeah, that's the most pressing What was one. that you said about making a baby? I'm made uncomfortable by this line of questioning, Sam. That's just because you're scared of a world where career-minded women don't need to be tied to a man to have a family. This ain't the past anymore. It's the 1960s. They can talk about putting a person on the moon, and I can invent a baby-making machine. Okay. Well, how does this baby-making machine work? You just take a DNA sample from the mother and the other person and combine them in that machine. Let it bake a couple hours and you've got a beautiful baby girl. Or boy, I guess. I've already got my own samples in there. I'm gonna test it out tonight after closing. Uh, how do you get the DNA samples? Isn't that obvious? Um... Saliva, 
are fools? Well, naturally. Oh, of course. I'm trying to figure out if she's awesome or if she's an ugly stereotype that... of, you know, like... the same equal... She is to feminist as the rabid vegan who runs around, like, attacking people who eat meat. Like, there might be one or two out there, but... Meh. Where'd you get the father's sample? Oh, him. Well, I was just in Washington, D.C. for a special occasion, and when I was touring the White House, I met a nice man in a dark suit. He was polite and didn't say much. Seemed like his spit was as good as anybody else's, so I picked him. Super Bowl? We're here to help your son. I don't have a son. You think it's not enough I'm a businesswoman and inventor? A woman's only useful if she's got a son. It's not okay, that. You're pushing it We're too friends far, with him. It? Well, acquaintances. We know him. We've spoken to him more than once. Doesn't matter. I'm not defined by my children. No, but, but when defined I by do have one, lame stereotype. she's gonna be the most perfect little angel. Actually, I take that back. I have met women kind people kind of like her. And I'm not even gonna throw in a sexist stereotype because I've met men like her. Alright. Which fool did you want us to catch, exactly? That... that man who just came in here yelling about conspiracies and busting up the place! Your son! Bosco always did know how to make a memorable first impression. Can you tell us more about the man who <coughs> trashed your shop? He took one look at me and screamed! That should narrow the list of suspects down to... any man with eyes. <laughs> then he stumbled back and ran right into my baby maker! Ouch! Okay. We can't take the case, but we'll keep an eye out for your vandal, Miss Bosco. I swear if I ever find him, I'm gonna make sure he gets no pleasure in this life. Ah, oh, I haven't heard a tale of motherly love like that since the Manchurian candidate. Alright, I don't remember the significance of mothers. See you later, Miss Bosco. Candidate. We're gonna pick up some swinging 60s chicks and start a groovy hullabaloo. Men. Cut it out, Max. You don't even like girls. Oh, right, right. You got a problem with women? Nah, just never interested. With all the general malice I have to get done in a day, girls are just a huge waste of time. I have never been as turned on as I am right now. Uh. Uh, what? You just never found the right woman, and I never found the right man. Forget the baby maker. Catastrophic temporal anomaly detected. Run away with me, Max. My white stallion. Curse my irresistible animal magnetism. Um. Yes, you really Bosco, should. I really think you should reconsider. I can already see us. Living next door to that nice detective. Flint paper? Well, it would be nice having someone to do my laundry. You don't even wear clothes. And yet, I always end up with so many bloodstained shirts. Tis a mystery. Think of your children. What about that? I won't need kids once I have the love of my Max. He'll be my new little pet project. You're creepy and weird. Max doesn't even like girls. They're a nuisance at best. Hasn't been interested since? When did that start exactly? I think it all goes back to that time we were... Flashback? No flashback. Mm, okay. Oh. Well, it's been ever since junior high. I'm president of the U.S., and you'd make a lousy first lady. You just don't know what you want. I may not be the first, but I'm the last lady you'll ever need. She's already dressed like a traditional first lady. I'm married to my career. They had the ceremony in Canada because it's legal there. All those excuses you keep making just prove you need me. No. Look, lady, you just don't get it. I'm just not into you. Keep on protesting. It just makes me know you're the one. You creepy and weird. Ooh, look at all the guns. They're... they're... they're beautiful. Baby needs. Baby food and bum wipes. If you use less of one, you wouldn't need as many of the other. You have to feed babies. Looks like a weird bread-making machine. Don't be silly. That's my baby maker. 
You take a spit sample from the mother and one from the father, mix them together in that machine, and then out comes a happy little bundle of perfection. Finally, somebody explains how that works. That's not the generally agreed upon method, Max. Okay, so she claims she doesn't need a man, but she still needs man's spit. So... What a waste. What a senseless waste. Don't cry over spilt milk. Hmm, what's this? It's my chemical sampler. Get somebody to spit on it, and it gives you a sample test tube for the baby maker. Mind if we borrow it? Go ahead. I already got all I need. Since when do you ask before taking anything, Sam? Is this the work of T-H-E-M? Men, women, and peace. Okay. Are the wines still back here? Hmm, a nice aged bottle of Nippy Valley brand vinegar. Ah, some idiot left the cork in, Sam. It's still wine! Let's just let that breathe for a few decades, Max. So, neither Mama Bosco nor Bosco himself have checked their wine supply in close to 70 Whee! years? We're better to crunch numbers than Emma John. 60 years. This game came out in like 2007, 6 or 7. My paws are spotless. Okay. Oh, the germs look so young. <laughs> Big ammo. Let's just say... Formula. All right. The formula. Russians send first woman into space. Soon they'll send all their women into space. Is that a joke I don't get? Ooh, boom, 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 boom. Ooh look at that. Hey, Max. Remember that old carbon dater we got from Sybil last year? Yeah, we gave it to Bosco so he could keep scanning his weenies. Looks like he's made some uh, modifications to it. Why is it? Oh, wait, because Bosco was here and he dropped it when he ran around in a panic. All right. Hmm, I printed out a card with the Intergalactic Freelance Police logo. Sounds intriguingly futuristic. All right. It printed a time card with Stinky's logo on it. Wait, what is the connection between Max and Stanky? I don't want to know. Never mind. Hey, the weenies are fresh. Nations rise and nations fall, but those hot weenies will outlast us all. Poetry. Poetry in motion. What was that? It printed a time card with a presidential seal and some strange numbers. There seems to be no re no connection between who you pointed at and what you... Oh well. What do you think you're doing? You know, Whatever the usual. Like. Traveling through time and stuff. Override. You've caused a catastrophic temporal anomaly. You're going back to the ship, so you can think about what you've done. Okay. You don't mind your dad. You don't need to tell me what to do. Just look at what you did. Sam, what's a catastrophic temporal paradox? That! What the hell did you guys do? Max, when you made Mama Bosco decide not to have a baby, that meant Bosco was never born. But if Bosco was never born, then we never would have gone back to meet Mama Bosco in the first place. Neat! Are you fools just gonna stand there explaining everything, or are you gonna fix me? Sheesh! Give a guy a cool cow body, and all of a sudden he's the owner of the time stream. <laughs> all right. For someone who brought us back to think about what we've done, he seems to have no problem with us 
uh, going wherever we want. Oh, presidents, of course. Yes. Look, Sam, it's my summer office. I don't think so, Max. Take a look around. Welcome to the Oval Office, visitors. Next tour begins in 30 minutes. This is a long time before the horrific sequence of events that led to your presidency. I'm not leader of the free world here? This will not stand! This far in the past, I assumed the Earth was still flat. <laughs> right. I'm guessing they couldn't fit a television on there. A true weasel scout would keep his merit badges on him at all times. Be prepared. Be very prepared. Nothing on the desk. I'm not allowed to mess with the calendar. I'm not president no more. It's the yet. official calendar of the United States. The best part of being president is changing the date for the entire country. I don't want to change the date right now. I'm temporarily confused enough as it is. Then you don't have the authority to do it either. The father of our country. I wonder who's in this picture. It probably came with the frame. Anals of Americana. It printed a time card with our logo on it. Interesting. Hi there, random Secret Service agent. I can answer any of your questions. Please don't touch anything. I'm Agent Superball. Superball? It's a code name, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret Service humor. In the future, we know a guy who looks just like you, with the same name. I've never seen you before, and there couldn't be another Agent Superball, sir. The code names are unique. Oh, Superball! I get it! Where's the president? He's in the war room. Important national crisis. And when I said national crisis, I meant to say he's just watching television. <laughs> we are not at the brink of war with Cuba. All right, Sam, our mission is clear. Nuke the commie bastard! I think we've seen enough of the war room for one lifetime, Max. Yeah, you're right, Sam. Having to hurt people from a distance takes all the fun out of it anyway. What do you think of the president? He's the greatest man who ever lived, sir. Oh, these poor bastards of the 60s having to grow up in a world without David Arquette. <laughs> Heard any good gossip about the president? Extra toes or nipples, can't talk to the press without slices of ham stuffed down his pants, stuff like that. The president is beyond reproach, sir. I won't hear any more of it. Did you see a strange woman in here a while ago? Assertive career woman, asking everyone to spit. That's the one! Yes, sir. I admired her independent spirit and sass. We came here from the far-off future. Aren't you amazed and surprised? Isn't that shocking? I've seen a lot of things, sir. It takes a lot to shock me. I would oh, imagine really? so. I bet we could surprise you. Can't be done, sir. I'm imperturbable. We're your new sons. And we want to live in your house! And raise my children of questionable parentage! And we're both axe murderers. And I'm voting for Barry Goldwater! Nothing? It's like I said, sir. I'm not startled easily. Damn. All right, we give up. The man's a rock, Sam. Nice try, sirs. I almost felt my pulse rate increase there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you very Keep much for watching. Thank you, sir. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, or subscribe. Or, you know, not. I'm not the boss of you. I don't tell you what to do. Take care.